With setup complete, the Evo 2 is now ready for your patient. The Evo 2's power cord should be well secured to the rear of the unit before plugging into the mains utility power socket. Switch on the Evo 2 by pressing and holding the on-off button for 5 seconds. The unit will show you whether it is safe for use on a new patient. A green light indicates that the Evo 2 has been disinfected correctly since it was last used. However, do not use the Evo 2 on a patient if the orange light appears. You must dispose of the consumables and reprocess this Evo 2 before it can be used. After confirming the Evo 2 has been correctly reprocessed, you will need to adjust the patient's settings to match the treatment required. The current values are displayed on the summary screen. Dew point temperature, respiratory gas flow rate and oxygen concentration. Each value will pulse until reaching its set point. To make an adjustment, press and release the mode button to cycle through the set point screens until you reach the desired option. Selecting the right dew point temperature will provide more comfortable and effective treatment for your patient. A dew point close to body temperature at 37 degrees Celsius is recommended, though you may like to reduce the dew point temperature if the patient complains that the gas temperature is too warm. Press and release the mode button repeatedly until the target dew point temperature is displayed. This padlock symbol indicates that the setting is locked to prevent accidental changes. Press and hold the up and down buttons for three seconds to unlock the setting. The lock will disappear and be replaced by an arrow showing the minimum and maximum accessible settings. Press and release the up or down button to choose the new setting. When you have finished, press and release the mode button to lock the setting again. The lock will reappear. After 10 seconds, the Evo will return to the summary screen. The current dew point temperature will pulse until it reaches the new target. The respiratory gas flow rate can be adjusted the same way. Press and release the mode button again or wait 10 seconds to return to the summary screen. For patients that require oxygen as part of their treatment, you can connect the wall supply to the oxygen inlet port on the side of the unit now. Make sure you push the oxygen tube firmly onto this connection port. Be sure to read the oxygen warnings in the Evo 2 user manual before using oxygen. In particular, never have oxygen flowing through the unit when the Evo 2 is turned off. When changing the oxygen concentration, press and release the mode button repeatedly until the large oxygen view is displayed. Using a built-in oxygen sensor, the Evo 2 reports the concentration of oxygen in the respiratory gas flow as you adjust the flow on the wall supply. Simply adjust the oxygen flow until the desired oxygen concentration is displayed. While waiting for the unit to warm up, Fit the appropriate interface, ensuring the head strap is not touching the ears. The Evo 2 can be used with a variety of patient interfaces. Read the separate user instructions for the patient interface that will be used, including all warnings. When the Ready for Use symbol appears on the display, connect the patient interface to the heated breathing tube. Attach the interface to the breathing tube by simply pushing the two connectors together until you hear a click. The gas delivered will feel warm when the patient first uses the unit. This is typical. They should simply continue to breathe normally. If the patient will be using an OptiFlow Junior nasal cannula, you must activate Junior Mode. Press and hold the Mode button for 5 seconds until the Junior Mode symbol appears. The Evo 2 will automatically adjust the dew point temperature and gas flow to safe limits for the Junior interface. The dew point temperature is limited to 34 degrees Celsius and the respiratory gas flow rate is limited to 25 litres per minute. To deactivate junior mode, follow the same procedure. Hold the mode button for 5 seconds. As with any medical device, you may need to make adjustments to the Evo 2 as the patient's condition changes. 
keep in mind that the patient's breathing pattern can affect the fraction of inspired oxygen. For this reason, you should always use a pulse oximeter and adjust the oxygen flow rate to maintain the appropriate blood oxygen saturation in your patient. The EVO2 has been designed to be as reliable as possible and will automatically raise an alarm when a problem is detected. The cause of the alarm is shown on the display. Silence the alarm with the mute button. In this example, the alarm was raised because a blockage has been detected. Once the blockage has been found and corrected, the EVO2 will continue delivering therapy to the patient.